Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a look um, um, that I found online when I was just looking for hair styles to pin on my Pinterest. Um, if you don't know what Pinterest is, um, it's pretty much, I don't know how to explain it, you just like pin stuff on different boards. It's pretty much like a cork board, you know, you pin like inspirations to stuff or what you like kind of things on there. And sorry, my hair is frizzy, but... We need that for the sake of this video. Um, but anyways, um, yeah. So my Pinterest is pretty much a cork, virtual cork board is what I like to say. So um, if you guys haven't heard of Pinterest, I heard of it um, a couple days ago. And I'm literally addicted. I have two boards and I've been like p um, pinning stuff on my boards. Um, and it's so much fun. So definitely check out the website. I'll put the link below. Um, so today's look, um, is one of the looks that's actually on my Pinterest board. So, um, I guess I'll put the link either to the picture or to my Pinterest board where that picture is down below. Um, and then of course, always the finished product pictures will be on my TwitPic or Twitter, um, in a link down below. Also because I don't have like a fancy smanshy video editing program so um yeah the pictures will be down below if you want to see how it looks before you even watch this video so the first thing you want to make sure is that your hair isn't clean like you didn't just wash it like five seconds ago um you want it to be hair that is one to two days like dirty i guess um i can my hair is like amazing it can go two to three days even um, without having to wash it. I still take a shower, but you know my hair I just put it up in my little cap or I put it up in something like this and then I don't wash it um, Which is pretty much what I do. I washed my hair yesterday I think it was yesterday or the day before that um, So but after I finish doing this hair tutorial, I'm gonna go take a shower um, Because I just finished painting outside um, So yeah, anyways other than that so you want to make sure you have dirty hair and then um, your hair can either be textured or not. Um, my hair, I'll show you guys what my hair looks like. My hair has a slight texture to it, um, because I had crimped it yesterday or the day before yesterday. I think I could, the day before yesterday, and you can see I was painting because I have white stuff in my hair, like white paint literally in my hair. Okay. Anyways, um, so excuse any of the white stuff that you see in my hair. It's paint. Like right there. <laughs> That's so funny. Anyway, I don't know how I got my hair painted if it was all up in a bun. But anyways, so your hair has to have a little bit of texture and you want it to be voluminous. So my hair is pretty voluminous right now, as you can tell. Um, but I keep hitting that. I don't know why these doors are like they lock really funny so anyways um you want to make sure your hair has texture in it as you can see i have like this slight crimped it's not crimped i waved my hair with a waver so anyways so the first thing you want to do is you know you can tease your hair if it doesn't have um like any volume on it but mine has enough volume that i'll be happy with it the next thing you want to do is you want to part your hair um, so you can part it wherever you want. I'm doing a side part, which is what the girl in the picture has. She has a side part. I have one of these little sticky cones. So you part your hair in a line, and I hate straight lines, but I'm doing it for the sake of this video. So the next thing you're going to do, I feel like there's something in my hair. Like a bump. Oh, it's just like random. Okay. Anyways, the next thing you're going to do is you are going to take all this hair and then this is where it gets pretty fun. So what you're going to do is she kind of has this twist with like colorful string attached to it, which I thought was really cool. That's what inspired me to make this video. So the next thing you're going to do is you are going to take a section of hair that's 
Whoa, is my hair painted? No. That's not too far. So I'm separating my bangs. This is my bangs right here. And then the next chunk of hair that's like right behind it is what I'm going to take. And you also want it to be a decently long piece of hair. So this is my bangs. And then you're just going to take a chunk of hair that goes all the way down. Like that. You just want it to be the same length so that it can reach our bun that we're going to create. Then I'm going to twist this and then I'm going to pin this on the other side of my head just so that I don't get it confused with this side. So the next thing you're going to do is you are going to take all of this hair and pretty much it's all going to be to the side that your part is has the least amount of hair. So it's going to be to the side with the most hair. So it's going to be on this side. So, sorry my nose is itchy. Okay, um, after we've put all the hair to one side, this is where you're going to tell how flat your hair gets on this side. And as you can see, mine gets pretty flat on this side and I don't like flatness. So I'm going to just take random sections and you're going to tease, is that paint? I hate seeing like little shadows on my laptop. Anyways, you're going to take a section of hair and you are going to tease this or rat tail, whatever you want to call this. I just call it making your hair tangled. Um, so, and we're going to do this like ever so lightly, just, um, just that we're able to brush it out. This is just for extra volume. And that's why I'm taking like a, um, one of these cones that are wide, that have um, wide spaces. Um, you wanted to make it like even tighter and make the volume like really stick. Then you would go for something like this. But anyways, so you're gonna, gonna switch this piece of hair into this side again. And then you're going to do all this side. And like I said, you don't want to do it so much that your hair is going to be like tangled or when you try to take a shower um, after you've done this hairdo, um, it's not going to come out. You want it to be able to come out. So, yeah. And then I kind of just take more hair from the back and then just tease it tease it or knot it or whatever you want to call it. Okay, once you're done, you can hairspray and I'm using the L'Oreal Paris um, Elmet hairspray. And this is just going to hold um, the poof, I guess. <laughs> okay, and so then we are going to see how that gives us more volume. Then the last thing you can do is just take this front section Flip your hair like this and then take this back section and then just, this is going to give us real volume. And then you take this section, over this section we just tease and it'll look something like this. Then of course I have pieces that are going to be around my face, so make sure you take those off. And then you're going to take some bobby pins and you're going to pin the hair in place. And I like to pin it just because um, sometimes my hair, since I have layers, it'll end up falling out. So that's I'm pinning it. And then you pin the hair and then you kind of push it so you get nice volume over here. And this is the only hard part. Which, it's not even hard because you're just literally pinning stuff. So, this is what you should kind of have. You should have some um, pieces of hair framing your face. You should have your bangs. And then you should have the piece that we're going to be twisting with our string. And then you have this extra hair over here. So, now we're just going to take 
our little piece of string, or our piece of string, our piece of hair, and then put it back to the side. And also, you want to make sure that this side isn't so neat. You want it to be messy because I find that this hairdo looks a lot nicer when it's messy. And then we're going to take all this side and then um, secure it onto um, this side of our head with an elastic. I bought this packet of elastic. Sorry, it's a little messy because it's hard to open it. But I found this packet of elastics at the 99 cent store. So it's only a dollar for like all of these elastics are different colors in black and in um, white or clear. Um, I'm just going to use the black ones. Not that my hair is black, but my hair can honestly pass for black, like no joke. So the next thing you're going to take is you're going to take one of these elastics and you're going to secure your hair like that. And these aren't, they're not going to be able to like twist twice um, because they are tiny. So just know that with one, it's good. They can, of course, just tighten it. Okay. This is our piece that we don't want to lose. And I lost my string. Oh, well, I'll get it later. Okay. So... Now you want to make sure that this side of our hair is good. And you want it, like I said before, you want it to be voluminous, um, yet um, look messy, um, and also to have a nice kind of look to it. Um, so um, just make sure that it's textured. I think that's a very, I keep hitting that. It's a very important thing is to make sure your hair is textured. So we're almost to the end. So now you're just going to take this section and you are going to kind of grab it all and twist it up here as close to the scalp as possible, like that. And then you're going to take an elastic. Well, I'm going to pin this here first because then you're going to take an, um, a string and you want it to be kind of thick like this so that you can see it when you put it in your hair. And then you're going to take your elastic. And what I like to do is I'm going to tie the string onto the elastic just to make sure it's secure. And you have to cut the string depending on how long your hair is. So if your hair is really long, cut a very long piece of string and then you can cut it shorter. Um, if your hair short, um, just cut it as long as you need it. You kind of estimate how long you need it by measuring where it's going to be to where you want it to end. Um, but anyways, yeah, there's no like exact measurements for it. So you take this again, and this time you're going to take your elastic tied with the string my things are totally making my nose itchy. You're going to take your elastic tied with your string. You're going to tie it as close as possible to your scalp. And it's kind of easy. But it's, you want to make sure you tie it tight enough that the string isn't going to like fall out or that it's going to look funny. So you tie it up as close as you can to the scalp. Should look funky like this. And then what you're going to do is you can take a bobby pin and pin it um, by going under the elastic and then pinning it down to the hair, which will hold it down. And now it's time to move my bangs out of the way. And it's a lot faster if you do it without having to explain everything. But since I'm explaining everything and trying to make it as easy as possible for you guys, um, it's going to take a little longer. So what you do is you're only going to wrap the string around your hair. Like 
you want to do it fairly tight so that the hair kind of forms like a funnel kind of looking thing. And it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. You just twist it around your hair. Like I said, we're not going for like any specific look. We're just trying to get it to be. You well, it kind of does have a pattern. But you're just twisting it around the hair. We're not twisting the hair, we're just holding the hair nice and tight, and then we're twisting the string around the hair to hold all the hair in place, and then it'll give us like this kind of look. And since I have dark hair, um, I have to use like bright colors like pink and stuff. I can't use black or dark blue or anything like that. Um, but you know, I think if you have blonde hair, you have lighter hair like my sister does, she can use like any color that there is. Um, so. so just make sure you don't twist the hair because if you twist the hair, when you let go of this, all of this is going to come falling apart. Whereas right now, it's staying together and it's like really firm. Like it's hard to bend it kind of thing. And you just want it long enough to reach the ponytail. And then once it can reach the ponytail, I'm going to tie the end with a clear elastic. And then you're good to go. So this is also kind of a cool alternative to like, um, you know, like feather extensions. You could always just take a feather and like tie it to the end of this, like no joke. So this is what it looks like after. Let's see if it'll stay up. This is what it look, should look like after because we tied it really tight. So pretty much whatever way we mold it, it'll stay. Ain't that cool? Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is I kind of find that it's easier just to form our bun first and then pin this wherever we want to pin it. And you could also use this as a headband. I mean, there's a million different ways you can use this. But for right now, I'm just going to pin it out of the way. For the side of our hair, her bun is pretty um, simple. It's just twisting the hair like this, making circles, twisting it. And then laying it flat against your head. You can do it like that or you can just grab random pieces and pin them to get a more like funky messy look. But I'm just going to do it the way her hair was. And again, I'm going to repeat this. But you roll it around your finger and then you start to roll your hair. It's pretty simple. It's the same way you do like pin up curls. Um, it's pretty much the same way. You just roll them up with your finger and then you're going to pin them onto your head. So you're going to have a bunch of like rosette kind of looking things on your head. And then you want to make sure that when you pin it, you have it secured nicely. And then I'm just going to take more bobby pins from in my hair box, if I can find any. And you're just going to keep getting pieces of hair and rolling them up. I'm going to take bigger sections, depending on how much hair you have, you can take more or less. But, again, this is pretty much it depends on how, you know, short or long your hair is. So... And then you pin it. And this is going to stay fairly flat on your head. Um, of course, you can you can always um, you can get that. Um, but you can always I can't reach it. Oh. It keeps slipping out of my fingers. Okay, I got it. Um, that 
was funny. Okay. So then you're just going to take, um, you know, you have them up in, in like little rosettes, I guess. And what I kind of like to do is hers wasn't like all that neat, but it wasn't all that messy either. So what I like to do is pull some of the rosettes kind of apart so that they're not like really neat flower looking things. You want it to look to have that little rosette kind of pattern, but you also want it to have this little ends kind of sticking out. So I have two last sections to roll up. I was gonna just go like this. Well, that could work too. But anyways. And you also wanna make sure that you hide um, the actual bobby pins and that you hide that elastic that we put back there. Oh, I think I'm going to have two more sections here. And then my last section and my other bobby pin is like over there on the floor. One second. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think I got like the perfect amount of bobby pins. And then, of course, we have our last section. And see, if you have textured hair, it looks really nice if anything falls out. It's like perfect. We just roll a section up too. And then... And that's what it looks like. And then we take out our bangs and our cool, colorful, elastic thingy bob. And we're going to pin that. right into the center of our button that we just created and it's kind of falling apart. Okay, so now, see and the pretty thing about using, you know, the rose kind of style of pattern with this is that it looks really nice from the side. And then, you know, we have this really crazy colored and then the last thing is that she has no bangs whatsoever, so um, you can leave this out, of course, but I'm going to pin them. So, I'm going to try to hide them. I'm going to hide them behind my ear. And then... You don't want to hide them like so tightly that it looks like, oh, she's hiding her bangs. But ever so kind of pull them out for some volume. And this is what the finished product looks like. Um, so, yeah, that's what it looks like. And, of course, you can see like the little piece of string coming out of there. Um, but anyways, um, it's meant you can, this can, blah, blah, blah. This can be for pretty much any occasion. It can be formal. It can be casual. Um, it can be, you know, for your homecoming. It can be um, for graduation. Not that graduation is right now, but I mean, like, if you're taking your school pictures or your senior pictures, this is, like, an absolutely awesome hairdo because it's not, like, in your face kind of thing. It's kind of, like, subtle, and it looks nice, and it's girly. And I think I'm going to do my hair like this tomorrow again. Um, so, um, yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, and again, sorry that this video was so long, but I don't have, like, an editing system that can, like, stop or fast forward the parts where it's just like, oh, really? You're just wasting your time. But anyways, yeah, this is what it looks like. And if it falls out, it's even better. 
So yeah. Um, you can always hairspray this at the end, but I kind of just like the messy look. Um, so thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye.